The Vima Pyramid Scam. The time where I... The time where I got caught... Fuck, why? <laughs> I don't really know how to talk about this. Um, a couple of years ago, I think it was in... It was 2000, 2014, 2015. Uh, I was jobless and I didn't know what the fuck was going on with my life. And I was, I was on the verge of joining the army. I, I was on the brink of like, I had, I had the paperwork signed. I had everything good to go. All I had to do was hand the paperwork back in and I'd be off to, um, what's it called? Kapuka in, in, in Wagga Wagga. It's fuck. Australia has... Australia has such fucking weird names, man. But I was on the verge of joining... Ah, I can't fucking talk tonight. So I was on the verge of joining the army, and one of my friends at the time was into this thing, and he asked me, hey, do you want to go get a cup of coffee? And I was like, nah, man, nah. I'm like, I, I always did that to my friends. I always did that. I was always busy. Always busy. I didn't want to get out, and actually, to a point, I'm still kind of like that. Anyway, I digress. He asked me a couple more times, and I said, no, no, no. And then one time I felt bad and he asked again and I said, yeah, okay, sure. And it was at this, uh, th this, this weird cafe in Parramatta. Um, it was like the, the Mars Hill, I think it was Mars Hill cafe, like six or seven at night. He asked me and I randomly just got on a fucking bus. I didn't have a car at the time. I had to get on a bus to go to the station and then caught a train to Parramatta. And so we're having a coffee. We're talking about shit. And talking about how me, how I'm gonna join the army and all that junk. And then he says, hey, let's go upstairs. And at that point, I'm like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> so we walk up there and I'm bombarded with, oh man, I was just, people. It was like, there was like 50, no, no. There were like 80 people crammed into a small room, like the size of my bedroom. It was, my, my bedroom's a fucking shoebox. Ah, fuck, just... Just thinking about this, it's it's so cringe. So we go upstairs, and there's a bunch of people, and it looks like there's like a promotion thing going on. And I so I see I see these two um I still remember it sort of. There were these two banners of a soft drink. And I'll talk about that later. We're all sitting down, and on comes this video about Vima. And Vima. Vima, I don't give a fuck what anyone says. Vima was a pyramid scheme. And I was sucked in because I'm a sucker. They, they showed this video that sort of tried to explain why uh, people, affiliates, are sort of like vending machines. And the more you have in places and the more you branch out, the more money the owner receives, which is so weird sort of. Uh, I, it's so hard to explain. But anyway, they showed this video of this kid. He's like, um, he's like 24. He's like, okay, not, not a kid. I'm 22. But anyway, this guy, he's rich off this marketing thing. And he says he doesn't look at price tags. He's rich because of this and that. And I'm butchering the story so hard. But anyway, speeding up a little bit. The video was about making a promise that you'll become rich. A promise that you'll become rich. And to me, because I didn't really want to join the army, it was just, it was just sort of like, I, I need, I need to do something with my life. Otherwise, you know, I'm, I'm, I fucking want to die. Like this isn't any way to live. So getting this promise to become wealthy at, at a young age, it was overwhelming. And I, I jumped at the opportunity. Like usually after the video, like they'll ask, oh, so what do you think? What was your best part? That was one of their tricks, by the way, asking what, what's your best part? Because it makes you think about the positives, not the negatives. Anyway, but it didn't even get to that point. All I said was, sign me up. Sign me up. I need to do this. I need to fucking do this. And they signed me up. It did it. I, I did it. But the catch was, if you want to sign up, you have to buy a starter pack. Which was their health drinks. So the company's name was Vima. One of their drinks was called Vima. And their soft drinks, more aimed at the young demographic, was called Verve. And you had to buy a starter pack of this product. The minimum price was $500. I did it. And I regret it every day. It was fucked. I, I, I don't know how I could have fallen for that. I really don't. I was desperate at the time to get out of my situation and it just made it worse. I, I tried to sign people up. I lost friends. I lost 
family members. But I did gain some things like, you know, confidence and so it's sort of, sort of sales. But really it was more sort of like teaching you how to, how, how to get out there. That could be used in anything, I think. I don't really know exactly where I'm going with this story, but it just, it's, it embarrasses me. This is, this is embarrassing shit. I am, I'm so, what's the word? What is the word I'm looking for? I am really, really ashamed of myself for falling into that. And the worst part of it is your parents tell you, oh, it's a pyramid scheme. Your friends tell you it's a pyramid scheme and you're just so brainwashed. You're thinking, no, it's not a pyramid scheme. Trust me, this is different. And me personally, like, I stuck it to my parents and I was like, you know what? No, this is not fake. This is not a pyramid scheme. You watch, I'm gonna make this happen for me. And it's, cr it's, <sighs> it pisses me off that they were right. You should, oh my God, I can't believe I'm actually gonna say this, but you should listen to your parents. <laughs> They, they, they literally do know everything and I don't like it. I don't like being wrong, but God damn it. I mean, I, I didn't even put thought into, into wanting to join or not. I just, I just did it. I just, the idea of making money quick and getting out of my situation was an incredible idea. Like I just thought, oh my God, this is going to change my life. In a way it did change my life, to be honest. Not the company, not, not the, um, not the pyramid scheme, Vima. It was my friend, the one that, um, that got me into it. If it wasn't for me meeting up with him for that coffee and I was brainwashed by the entire thing, I would have joined the army and my life would have gone very different. Like I, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be putting in more effort into my YouTube. I wouldn't, fuck, I just, a lot of things wouldn't happen the way that they did if that one night didn't happen and that is that is crazy to think it's it's amazing how, how things work out honestly it's as embarrassed and ashamed as i am that i fell for that i'm glad that it happened even though that entire thing was a fucking lie and it wasted all my money is that a spider anyway getting back to the story it's friday night by the way friends are out partying doing drugs having sex I'm talking to a camera. I've wanted to talk about this for a while. It's just, I, it's embarrassing. It's so funny how we all just got so brainwashed by this idea. And I, I will never forget the photo of the guy, the, uh, the CEO, BK Boreco. And they even said like, oh, Dr. Oz recommended the drink and he says it's great. I did some research afterwards when I, when I left the entire thing. I did some research, fucking lie. They used his name, the entire thing was fake. The drink probably causes cancer. Oh, that reminds me, that actually tried to, tried to say that it cures cancer. Now, sorry, not, not cures cancer, but helps prevent cancers from growing in the body because it's so healthy. And I said that to my cousin, she has breast cancer. I told my cousin that her breast cancer would fade away if she had this drink. I'm a special kind of stupid. And she got mad we had a massive fight. She doesn't talk anymore. Doesn't matter. She's a fucking bitch anyway. And hey, if, if you're watching this, hit me up. Send me a message. I'd love to ignore it. You bitch. <laughs> I know I didn't really go into depth about the whole Vima Pyramid scheme, but to be honest, there's not much I remember. All I remember is feeling embarrassed and ashamed of myself. And... I don't know, I just felt like talking about it and getting it off my chest, putting it out in the open, you know, fuck it, why not? Friday night, I felt like making a video. I kind of like this, you know, just sitting on the couch, just talking to you guys, swapping stories. It's just, it's, it's cool. I like it. I, li I might do more of this, actually. My life is boring, though, so there's not many stories to tell. I think that's all I have to say about that tonight. Um, thanks for listening, guys. It's been awesome. I like this. I might do more. <laughs>